where riders from all over the nation are making their way into the falls to settle in before this weekend's huge event. Shatanya Clark caught up with some of those riders today. So, Shatanya, where are these riders staying? Anywhere from hotels to host homes to tents to RVs and campers, Daryl. Now, some riders say convenience and cost played a huge role in where they decided to lay their heads this weekend. We're really glad to be back outside. This is Lee O's fifth Hotter Run Hell 100, and he says he keeps coming back because of the event's history and the personal connections he has built over the years. Connections with folks like Conrad Dalton and Steve Crowell in their 15th year, whom he has always bunked with for the biggest weekend in Wichita Falls. It's a little cheaper. Yeah. We split the cost of the camper or whatever that we're doing. Uh, last year or in the past, we, we went to, uh, we had a like an eight-man tent with, with air dual conditioner. air conditioners hooked up to it. Not just that, but they say it is convenient. Just right over there is the impact and the expo, and uh, we have the mountain bike race starts right here, you know, not 50 yards from our camper. It's inconvenient. It's over here. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Other accommodations for riders include hotels, host homes, or alternative options. Guests will come in and they'll stay uh, in this area. Like the downtown YMCA's indoor camping. You're bringing your sleeping bag and you're, you're popping on the floor wherever you might want, wherever you can land in specific rooms that we have set aside. This is one of them, our group exercise room. We have a boardroom that we'll pull tables out of. We'll utilize racquetball courts. Guests will also have access to the showers, sauna, locker room, and pool, as well as indoor bike storage, topped with a light breakfast on ride day. Though they are not requiring guests to wear masks, YMCA's District Executive Director Steve Hudman says they have an ongoing safety protocol to keep high touch points sanitized. We'll come in, we'll fog, still fog uh, the areas, even where they're staying, uh, in an effort to minimize that opportunity uh, to come into contact with COVID or minimize the contraction of COVID as well. Employees and volunteers are required to wear masks, though. Oles and his friends, as well as Hudman, say they are happy to get back to the event in this new normal while remaining as safe as possible. Now, the YMCA will be hosting about 150 to 200 guests this weekend, and members need not worry. They will still be able to go there. Um, it will be open for operations now. Well, how convenient that is that the YMCA offers that. That is so nice. Okay, Shatanya, thank you very much. Now, if you know of someone still looking for a place to stay, you can find a link inside the story at texomashomepage.com to tell you what you need to do.